Hey everyone, I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Seat of the Word community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us this Monday, May 16th, in the fifth week of Easter. First reading today is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verses 5 to 18. Let's get started with the reading of the Word of God for this day. At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas spoke in such a way that a great number of both Jews and Greeks became believers. The residents of the city were divided, so that when an attempt was made by both, by both Gentiles and Jews with their rulers to mistreat them and to stone them, the apostles learned of it and fled to Lystra and Derb, cities of Lycaonia, and to the surrounding country. And there they continued proclaiming the good news. In Lystra, there was a man sitting who could not use his feet and had never walked, for he had been crippled from birth. He listened to Paul as he was speaking, and Paul, looking at him intently and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said in a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And the men sprang up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Lyconian language, The gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Herms, because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus whose temple was just outside the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. He and the crowds wanted to offer sacrifice. When the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We are mortals just like you, and we bring you good news that you should turn from these wordless things to the living God, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. In past generations, God allowed all the nations to follow their own ways, yet he has not left himself without a witness in doing good, giving, giving you rain from heaven and fruits and fruitful seasons, and filling you with food and your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they scarcely restrain the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this beautiful journey with the first Christians, with the first Christian community in the Acts of the Apostles, we see the apostles being persecuted and having to go to different places and cities that they have never intended to go. But this is to see the providential hand of the Lord, how His providence guided our church since day one, since the beginning. So the apostles, especially here, Paul and Barnabas, they had to go to different places. And when they got in Lystra, a pagan city, they cured this crippled man. This, this man was crippled from birth. And when the people of Lystra saw that, they, they thought that Paul and Barnabas was, they were Greek gods. So, and for what they said, in the way that they act, they reminded the people of what they heard about their gods called Zeus and Herms. And they thought that their gods, their pagan gods, were incarnate in Paul and Barnabas. And Paul and Barnabas said, no, 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 we are human beings like you. And, but we bring good news, the good news of Jesus Christ. God created the whole humanity. And for a little while, he left all the nations to do what they wanted, to believe in what they thought that was right. But now God is calling all of us home. God's calling all of us 
to be sharers in one faith, in one Lord, in our Lord Jesus Christ. But the people here could not understand this message of Jesus Christ. They could not understand what this one God could mean. They were used to have to having many gods, God for this and God for that. But having a one God for them was very strange to believe in it. But that was the mission of Paul and Barnabas, to help the people to believe in one God, in our Lord Jesus Christ. Responsorial Psalm today, Psalm 115 says, Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Why should the nations say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to human beings. The Lord abides in heaven, but the earth he gives, he gives to us, to human beings. But Christ incarnate here on earth to bring God close to us, to bring God to live and to abide among us. Gospel today is from St. John, chapter 14, verses 21 to 26. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper, Jesus said to the disciples, They who have my commandments and keep, and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this gospel today, Jesus is saying that whoever have my commandments and keep them, they are loved. I love them and the Father loves them. I will abide in them and the Father will abide in them. Keeping the commandment is keeping the word of God. Keeping the word of God within our hearts is a way it is the way to have Christ within us. His word is his presence among us. Christ is the word of God who took on flesh and dwelt among us. He is the son of the father who took flesh, became man, and is here among us. We saw in the first reading how Paul and Barnabas was, were trying to proclaim Jesus Christ to a people who are used to gods far away from them. Gods up there in heaven. Gods that would never come to them in a personal way. And the psalm says, The heaven is for God and the earth is for human beings. But in the gospel we see that Jesus Christ, God, the Son of God, took on flesh and came to dwell among us. And by being here, he says, whoever abides in me, abides in the Father, and we abide in them. Whoever keeps my word, whoever is with me, I am with them. God is with them. It is a promise of belonging, belonging to God, and trusting to Him everything we have, everything we are, and receiving graces from His hands. And the greatest grace that we could ever receive 
is the presence, the real presence of our Lord Jesus Christ among us. May the Lord bless us today on this Monday and help us to see His saving hand in everything we do. Help us to see His presence in all we do, to know that He is a, a God here with us, not a God far away from us, but a God very close to each one of us. Amen.